Hey everyone, by the end of this video we're finally going to have a character that can walk forward, backward, and use distance matching to stop going in either of those directions. I'm sorry it's a bit late, um, I tried recording it once before, and it didn't really turn out, the recording got messed up, and it recorded at a lower frame rate, and I didn't realize because my video editor will sometimes drop frames to keep things running at the right speed when I am playing the video, considering how much it has loaded into RAM. And so, by the time I realized that, it was a bit too late, and to keep my future upload schedule on track, I had to delay this video to Friday. So, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Okay, everyone, so in our animation blueprint, we have this locomotion state machine. We have our three states inside of it, idle, running, and stopping. Inside of stopping, we have our right and left state, which has our entry state, our left up, and our right up state. Now we're going to go ahead and set up our transitions. So in our locomotion state, if we open up idle to running, and we get velocity, and we get the vector length of it, not equal zero we plug that in and now running to stopping we get acceleration and we are seeing if that acceleration is equal to zero and if that is true then we can enter the transition we're stopping to idle. We're getting velocity. We're getting the vector length. And we're seeing if it is equal to zero. We are also going to get stopped. Not. And we're going to get an OR. We're going to plug both of these in and plug the OR into CAN ENTER TRANSITION. Now we're going to go into our stopping state. Into right slash left. And in, sorry not an entry. And left up, we're going to get our stopping animation. So we're, we're looking for in run stop F left up anim. We're going to right click on it, convert it to a uh, and convert it to a single frame animation. We're going to plug in curve time. And now for write up, we're going to get our write up animation in run stop f write up. Again, we're going to convert it to a single frame animation and plug in curve time. Now we're going to enter into the transition. And for entry to left up, we're just plugging in left up. And for entry to write up, we're just getting left up, we're getting a knot, and we're plugging that into the result. Now if we go back into locomotion, into idle, I don't have an idle animation here yet, I'll get one before the series is over, and I'm going to go ahead and just get play start. I'm going to grab any of the starts, convert it to a single frame, leave the time on zero, and that'll give us a good base pose for idle. Now, inside of our character, we're going to have a, a breaking friction factor set to zero under character movement, our ground friction set to two, our breaking deacceler walking set, our breaking deacceleration walking set to 250, and make sure all of those settings are set correctly. And now in our animation blueprint, 
select the local motion state machine but don't go into it and make sure the max transitions for per frame is set to one by default it is set to three do the same in stopping and now in running we're going to get a new state machine and from entry we're going to add a state and let's just name this idle and we're not going to stay in idle but this is just so that we can enter into multiple different directions later on and we're going to name our state machine movement and now from idle actually inside of idle we're going to add our run start f anim at zero so i copied that and from idle we're going to add a state that is forward i'm just putting an fwd we're going to add a state that is backward bwd and i'm going to connect these two together and now we're going to be building up more advanced logic, especially with orientation warping in the future. But for now, inside of forward, I'm just going to get play run forward anim and plug it in. And in backward, I'm going to get play run backward anim and plug that in. And now we can save and we're going to plug entry straight into forward for now. For our transition settings, we want to have the duration set to the default 0.2 for, for idle to running. For running to stopping, we have 0 0.05. For stopping to idle, we have 0 0.05. Inside of stopping, our entry to left up is 0 0.2 and our entry to right up is 0 0.2. Now inside of our running, Our idle to forward is going to be zero, and our idle to backward is going to be zero because we never want to stay in idle at all. As a matter of fact, we don't even really need this here, and we can just rename it to entry. And if we would play, you're only running forward, but you'll see that now we have our distance matched stop animation playing. We have a character that can run forward and stop using distance matching. And the values inside the character movement component are just good values that line up well with the animation. But if we do something like, uh, if we take our max walk speed and set it to something like 300 instead of 600, the animation won't look as nice, but we'll still stop at the right time. And now, for the time being, we just need a simple way to tell if the character is going forward and backward, and we will, or backwards, and we will expand upon this logic a lot in an upcoming video. Until then, I'm going to read this axis value, and if it is greater than zero, I'm going to set a new variable called forward FWD all caps is true. It's not it'll be false so now we can go back into our animation blueprint back to our event graph and where we're casting to our distance matching character we can get another variable all our forward variable and as I, i'm just going to reiterate on it this is not permanent logic it's temporary logic here just for this video so you can have a character that's going backwards as well and we're going to expand upon this logic we're keeping the forward variable for now but we're going to expand upon the logic in a future video 
once I get all of that figured out and finalized. Until then, we're going to promote this to a variable and set it because this video, I don't want to just leave you guys the character that can just go forward, especially after um, we skipped a Monday video because the last time I tried making this one, things got messed up in um, with the recording. So I'm going to give you guys something a little bit extra to work off of or play around with until the next video comes out in a couple more days. So we have this forward variable. Forcing this underscore zero, so I'm just going to say D, I'm going to say forward direction. Naming conventions aren't perfect here, but I'm going to just leave it be now. Entry to forward. For in that transition, entry to forward here inside of our running state. We're just using our boolean that we made. For entry to backward, we're doing the same thing, but with a not boolean. And for forward to backward, we're doing our forward direction into not, and backward to forward, we're just doing our forward direction. Now, if we hit play, we can run forward, and as you can see, something's going wrong when we're running backward, and that is because if we go into our animations folder and find our run backward animation, Enable root motion isn't selected, so it's not able to ignore it. If we do that, we can now run forward and run backward. We're still using our forward stop animation. So if we go to our event graph and we have where we have our select, we're going to copy our left up and select. and our get curve time. Yep, um, delete this that I copied. We're going to duplicate this entire thing here. And now we're gonna get our forward direction. And we're going to get a select node from it. A select float. For A, we're going to plug in the top one, uh, top, suck to top, um, duplicated, uh, select, and get curve time. And in the bottom, we'll plug in the, and for B, we'll plug in the bottom one. And now, we're going to get our run stop B left up, and our, actually our run stop be right up in the false and run stop be left up under true compile save and now let's just search run stop underscore b and our animations folder and open these and we just need to make sure we add our stop modifier our stop curve onto each of these and now if we click play we can walk forward and stop and we can walk backward and stop if we uh Get into a more open area here. Yep, there we go. 
All right, everyone, I hope you found that video helpful. And if you've been enjoying the series so far, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and consider joining the Discord server too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.